Just going to the library, engaging with young people with bright minds all day long. But I saw my peers spend their days at endless meetings, at endless conferences, chasing endless research grants to publish in journals read by fragments of the population, all while rarely seeing their families. Sorry, Dina. And I didn't want that. I wanted to be an engaged mom. I wanted to be out in the community. I wanted to translate academic speak and share what I've learned with others so that we can all be empowered to make change. Thankfully for me, things were very calm, serene, and happy at home. So it made things very easy. <laughs> But there weren't any political scientists out there doing what, I, what it felt like I wanted to do. No one was on Twitter. No one was really blogging. No one was writing op-eds to the leader posts about the lingerie football league. And no one was experimenting with service learning opportunities for students. These were sort of popular methods rather than scientific ones. And as an esteemed peer reminded me quite recently, we are called science for a reason. But I'm here delivering this keynote speech. Why? In past years, the speech has been delivered by President Viant Timmins, the first female president of the University of Regina. It's been delivered by Mayor Deb Higgins, the mayor of Moose Jaw, who has also served in the Saskatchewan legislature for 12 years. It has been delivered by Dr. Linda Haverstock, the first female leader of a political party in Saskatchewan, among many, many, many other accomplished women. I ran for public office once and lost by a heartbreaking 34 votes. But like Violet McNaughton, I'm not accepting no for an answer. I'll just find other ways to make sure my voice is heard and realize my vision. I wasn't comfortable with the status quo. It didn't feel right. So I started to do what for me felt logical, like filleting the fish, even though no one else like me, was doing it. 